<clears throat> this is Night Talk. Welcome back to Night Talk. We got your uh, your next segment, man. Is uh, are you feeling Dove clean and club Dove fresh? You know, are you feeling Dove toxic? <laughs> now, yeah, now we're talking. Mm. So we have let's let's pl let's start off with the video. The the Dove Dove soap has named a new ambassador. For they to you know for washing your ass. We're moving in a new direction. <laughs> hey, be serious, man. <laughs> Come on, man. This, this is serious. This is what it's about. This is the campaign. Mm -hmm. My belief is that we should be centering the voices and experiences of the most marginalized people and communities at all times. So when I think about what fat liberation looks like to me, it looks like centering the voices and the experiences of those who live in and who maneuver through spaces and institutions in a fat body. It looks like making accessible spaces and having conversations that are aware of the fact that people have different bodies and that they are interacting with space and people and institutions and communities in a different way. Fat liberation looks like fully embracing those differences and having those conversations instead of shying away from them. To learn more about fat liberation and the campaign for size freedom that Dove is supporting, visit dove.com forward slash size freedom. Tap in, join the campaign, support the campaign. This is important and we should all be talking about it. Do you want to go first or do you want me to? I don't know. You know what? The the first thing that comes to my mind, you think, you think Lizzo might behind this? Oh, is Lizzo involved? Yeah, yeah, man. Conspiracy. <laughs> Lizzo got. <that's> good, <laughs> yo, she's trying to rebrand. There's some. Yeah, there's an angle there. I know Lizzo might be behind Oprah, Lizzo, Bill Gates. You know his his old his old Flavor. freaky ass is about it. That old nasty. He's. <laughs> He he's totally, now. Anything he had to be. Yeah, yeah, he's a freak, man. That guy was all over Epstein's island. Lizzo would have been on there too. Lizzo's a freak. If she was older, she would have been. She's, she yeah, she's a she freak. Amsterdam, mm -hmm. late night. But okay, look, we digress. <laughs> I don't have nothing to do with it. I like your theory, that was, though. That was I like where, yeah, 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 that was man, just off top. You know what? I get you. Um, I was I'm gonna, inspired by this. <laughs> listen, man, I'm serious. I'm going to take this seriously uh, for right now. I'm going to take this seriously. Mm -hmm. She said, join the fat liberation. I got notes. I think they should change that name. Okay. It just just the the What's name if if fat is seen as something derogatory, you know what I mean? If you used it, yeah, it's like I never liked the color NAACP national color. It's like I don't want to. Don't call me yeah, color. Don't call me if, color. If you're yeah. black, don't call me color. Right. I'll be. I'm offended. Yeah. So if you're saying the fat liberation, what if you not fat? Or if you don't want to be called fat. Or if you don't want to be called yeah. fat. Um, that's so it should be like Big Back. The Big Back. <laughs> I'm not even be Listen, the Big Back Federation. Or li <laughs> you guys. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. <laughs> I'm trying I'm to be serious. I'm laughing at a rock. Listen, man. Okay, that's just one thing, man. The Big Back Liberation. And then two. BBL. Oh, <laughs> you're laughing, but I think that's a good idea because girls is getting BBLs and they need to wash their ass too. That's the real. So this is what I like about. That's the, a bar. That's a bar. <laughs> and this is what I like about Dove doing this. I know you feel a different way. I want to. So we'll we'll get to yours. But I'm going to say for me, I'm on board with with this because there's an. A, a, a real epidemic of people not washing their ass. A and washing your ass is a bipartisan issue. It really is. It re and, it, it, and it's been a longstanding issue, too. It's always since Red, time Red Fox. Time. Red Fox has an entire the, album. The King. Called, one you of need the to wash your wash ass. Wash your ass. And it's as relevant, if not more now, <laughs> than it ever was. Yeah, there's a lot more ass than there used to be. We had a, a whole pandemic cause, uh, that probably lingered around a little longer because people weren't washing their ass. <laughs> and so for Dove to say, you got more... Again, I don't like this fat liberation, but the big bag, you got more ass to wash. <laughs> so I'm with that. Dove says, hey, we're going we're gonna to join the liberation. Fat, I don't like the name, but whatever. Mm -hmm. We could work on that. I do like the pick. 
because this is encouraging everybody to wash their ass. Mm-hmm. That's my take on it. Yeah, and now, what say you, sir? Who knows? Maybe maybe the bar lasts longer, so it's better for a big body. You know, like that. Exactly. So she do said, "Do they have innovations like that?" I don't know, dude. They, she said, "Navigating the space as a big as a big bag is a different kind of thing that we don't consider." I've never had, you know, I, I'm jealous. I would be jealous of fat kids growing up. I, I was jealous of fat kids because I was always a skinny kid. True. And fat kids was always, to me, that was just kind of just cool. <laughs> <laughs> like, you eating good. You live, you doing. Well, you, you know what? That, that There were moments where I was very jealous of fat kids, and it was usually when I was playing sports and I would try to hit them. It yeah, just, yeah, solid, like a rock, man. And if I was you like, I've, if I had some weight, I could really take a hit. But these dude, have you ever been mo- moved aside in a club? That doesn't feel good. It's <laughs> you're in a club and somebody grab your hips and move. That that's not a good feeling, man. Yeah, I you know, so I'm not. I don't look at big at, at fat liberation, big back federation, whatever we're gonna <laughs> call it. I don't look at that as go automatically. Oh, that's negative. You need to be skinny it's like i never thought that mm-hmm. you know mm-hmm. for me even my chick she go she said if she was in the chick she'd be in the bigger girls and i'm with her on that because it's more girl right if you're in the chicks whatever right and this is a, a, mm-hmm. a black woman here a big back celebrating the liberation so the soap yeah maybe there's some they did something in the dove soap to accommodate that it's very I possible. see what you're going. Okay, yeah, you know extra suds, and you said the B, the 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 Big Back Federation or the the WWF. I don't know. Um, no, that was bad. That's all right. D- <laughs> <laughs> but do we do we have, do we have the picture? Do we have the picture? <laughs> Dude, they they gonna come for you, man. Oh, no, you know what, they man? Come they come for me. We gonna party. Out. They come uh, to me. We partying. I tell you that right now. But you know what? The, I feel like this is a match made of heaven. When it comes down to it, with this, with this, um, with this. Well, whatever do you mean? You mean? Are you uh, trying to tell me that Dove, the corporation, isn't just doing this out the kindness of their heart? Well, you know, uh, this, no, this Miss Miss Bryant, uh, who the new spokesperson. Um, yes, for I, Dove. Yeah, I want to say Zyenda. Yeah, but I'm I'm terrible at reading people's names. I was trying not to say Ziana. Okay, Ziana. Yeah, Ziana. <sighs> Ziana, she I she say that. is, um, you know, she, she's doing a, a good thing for the brand and everything right now. But the reason that there's the backlash is because she she's notoriously toxic. Yes. And this is a match made in heaven because uh, for those that don't know, Dove also notoriously toxic. I don't know anything about the ingredients, but. Yeah. OK, but, so so th- <laughs> this is crazy. When this you told ad me about campaign, this. It was use Dove. And it washes clean that shit up, and they they took it down right away, and they were like, "Oh my god!" But somebody like published that, that put it on it wax. It yeah. made it made it past the editors. This was they said, this is cool. This is, and this was this looks like it's in the nineties. No, this is like in the last ten years for sure. Whoa, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, duh. yeah, yeah. They they you know they have some track record, and it and it turns out also, uh, they're owned by a company called Unilever. And it's the one of the the largest uh, companies that produces skin whitening creams Ooh, in it, across the world. For, so they should have got a uh, Sammy Sosa to do <laughs> to do the soaps thing. <laughs> that, that nigga was Puerto Rican and he came back Whoa. great. Dude, <laughs> that's one of the scariest things Yo, I've ever seen in my life. Yo, that man came back great. I didn't believe it when I saw he that. He used to be look. He used to be a Dominican from uh, 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 the Bronx. Yeah, and then he then he went, um, and then he came back looking undead, man, and unwell. So he was on that Dove type of time. Yeah. Wow. The yeah, Dove man. Shack. The Dove Shack. <laughs> but like, also, who knows? Because they're so toxic. Who knows if Dove was like intentionally, secretly being toxic? You know, they they did that ad with the lady intentionally watching her take off the shirt, then she turns white as if. I think know. it's all. Yeah, I think it's but always intentional. What if? What if? What if they're playing a trick on this lady, being like, you know, what if? If we can, the, the, this lady looks stinky, right? If we can make her not stinky. And our product is a boom product, right? Yeah, uh, man. I mean, man, that's, that, that's 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 uh, a that one is like there's a lot of people who look stink. That one is, 
<laughs> that one was that one was cold. <laughs> I damn, hey, that man. was cold. <laughs> we we, lo- we it's, it's a low night. It's, it's a it's a dark low night tonight. You know. It's, yeah, yeah. You and your yeah. You you yeah. on demon time, man. We in the trash. You in man. the trenches. We're, we're in <laughs> You're in the trenches with that. <laughs> stinky. I like this. I like if it is. I like that. There is a womanly stink. And, and that I that that. That, that we can all appreciate. That we can all appreciate. Yeah. But you can get too much of a good thing for sure. Shit, man. Oh. Well, let's talk about this then. <laughs> let's talk about she is. Let's talk about the backlash, though, real quick. So, Dove, Toxic Dove, mm-hmm. for the reasons unknown, the look, the, the, the whatever they're about, they pick her. And then they didn't know that she has some skeletons in her closet. She's a Black Lives Matter uh, activist. Mm-hmm. See, I know, again, these little titles and names, activists I could take. The Black Lives Matter part, them niggas owe me money. So I'm on their head top. So you don't get grace from me there. I'm mad about that still. Uh, but if she is an activist, yep. she she activated her powers for evil. She mm-hmm. said she... She says she heard uh, white students say the, the protesters make good speed bumps. Mm-hmm. And then she goes, oh, I misheard that. Someone might have said something. Ruins the kids' education, the future. Yeah. And then somebody, the Internet's petty. They're low. They mm-hmm. go low, you know. We go to the sewer. What is it? What are you putting up there? So, yeah, this sparked a uh, a Dove boycott. <laughs> that not, Ruin. That's, that's what makes this whole shit so yeah. funny, man. So you got <laughs> after hearing that Dub Beauty ch- chose yeah. Ziana Bryant, who ruined Morgan Bettinger's life for their fat acceptance ambassador. This lifelong large lady, what? And now former Dove customer <laughs> tossed out the last three bars of Dove products she will ever buy. I have written to Unilever. Unilever. <laughs> you know, that's some see now that's race that's yeah. a, that's racist to where you go, I refuse to wash my ass ever again. Yeah. If you boycott soap because <laughs> <laughs> I get that she she did this. It, this she's is gonna be love, itchy for months yeah, until she, she finds she, the one that she, works for she, her. She, man, <laughs> she she been using Dove her whole life. She's like, that's the only thing. This that works is where for I me. stop. I'm yeah, never washing you know my ass again. I'm throwing mm-hmm. soap away because it is this this story in has this economy. Too. This story has everything in it, man. Everyone's <laughs> racist in this story. Everybody's a, everyone's then then she petty. everyone's petty oh, and I she and she started to GoFundMe yes. after this. Oh yeah. So it's just that, like this is she, she's, she, she get, spun the block. She spun the block, man. She spun the block. Oh, she spun the block and and, and started a Zelensky. I'm gonna start calling GoFundMe Zelensky's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a perfect segue into, into our low road of the of the of the century. Oh my god. Okay, let's take a quick break and then we're gonna take it home with a, our low road. Uh, yeah, GoFundMe. Uh, event extravaganza <laughs> we're going all right man let's take this thing home uh wow i didn't i didn't think i'd ever be um <laughs> saying this or witnessing this but um i i would never say this but i guess this week this week uh the low road of the of the century so far is the house of parliament in Canada. So Canada, you get to hold this L. Um, they uh, they gave it up. You talk about standing ovation, man. They gave a standing ovation to a goddamn Nazi. Just, <laughs> just play the video, man. There, there's no other way I can.